Hey ghouls, I'm monster comedy author D.M. Gay and welcome to my office. It is time for another day in the life of a horror writer. Hey ghouls, today on Day in the Life of an Author, it's mail day. Yay! This is kind of my favorite day because look, I went to my post office box and oh my gosh, look at all this awesome stuff. You guys are the best. So, um, let's see what everybody sent me. Hmm. All right, first up. My author bestie Scott Burtness, who wrote Wisconsin Vamp and Monsters in the Midwest, went to Buckets of Blood, which is an awesome indie bookstore in Chicago, and he bought me a copy of Paperbacks from Hell. And I am like so excited because I love this book, but I've always been like, for some reason, I won't treat myself to a copy of it. So I've just been taking it out of the library over and over again. But Scott read my mind, and I was so excited when I found this in my box. So, yay, Scott. Thank you. All right. So what else? All right. Oh, I just got this amazing package. My birthday was last week and my readers are the best readers. You guys are so sweet. Dennis sent me this custom Ronnie James Dio um, guy. He's been painted to be like a zombie, like undead zombie. And oh my gosh. Oh, thank you, Dennis. It is so adorable. I think somebody on Etsy does these. And if I can figure out who it is, I'm going to pop the link down here because they take these cute little toys and then they make them zombie and everybody who loves monsters has to have one. So Dennis, thank you so much. This means like so much to me. So yay mail. Oh my gosh. So this one, I did not know what to expect. It was a surprise, but um, the return address is Rito Vision Secret Volcano Lair. I mean, I wish that I had come up with a return address that great. Secret Volcano Lair. Maybe you guys can help me name my secret monster basement cave something cool. If you have any suggestions, I'm all ears. Put it in the comments. So I open this up, and it turns out that it was from another author, the guy who wrote Cheap Plastic Skeletons from Hell, which is like a super fun um, Halloween read, and it literally is about plastic Halloween skeletons that come to life and it's really funny so I open this up and the first thing I see is oh my god look it's skeleton <laughs> you see it skeleton paper so Dusty Trice is the name of the author and holy cow does he have his awesome branding down secret volcano there skeleton paper and then it's full look of Halloween candy and a fantastic signed copy of Cheap Plastic Skeletons from Hell. Um, I did like a book review um, on the channel of this book, and he saw it, and he sent this to me as a thank you, like totally unsolicited, and oh my god, isn't that like the cutest ever? I love Secret Volcano there. So. All right, what else is in my mailbox? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. So this came... This is from um, one of the readers in my Facebook group, DM Gay's Horror Comedy Corner. We're doing a New Year's 2024 reading challenge because we're always looking for new books and new authors. So we're doing something called a 12 Books, 12 Fiends Challenge where we have to like go out of our comfort zone and find book recommendations from people that are brand new to us. And every book has to be from a different recommendation. So Ziggy... From my group sent me this adorable handmade Halloween pen to thank me for doing um, the reading challenge because he is what's called a whale reader meaning he reads like 10 or 20 books a week and nobody can keep up with them as far as recommendations so he sent this as a little thank you and Ziggy you're the best thank you so much so oh my gosh I also have some goodies and I forget the names of everybody that sent them to me but I love every single one of you. So I got a Christmas card, awesome postcard. And then um, the last book, Revenge of the Furballs, had um, a hamster of suspect origin. So somebody found these cute little hamster, monster hamster stickers and sent them to me. And oh my gosh, um, this is one of my favorite. is a VHS copy of Twilight of the Cockroaches because if you know me at all, you know that. I have a talking cockroach named Kevin who loves Dio in my books. So this was an inspired by Kevin gift and I really love it. I appreciate it. So love the PO box. It's like treasures. Okay. What else do we have? Hmm. Oh my gosh. It's a birthday card. Yay. Thank you, Grace, for my birthday card. 
it means like so much to me that you guys are not just like readers, but you guys are like friends and that you think of me on my birthday. It's very sweet. On your birthday, I can't give you the sun and stars. So here's the moon. <laughs> you get me. You totally get me. I love it, Grace. I love it. Oh, I have another card too. I thought it was a birthday card, but it turns out it's an awesome Christmas card. And it comes with stickers. Oh my gosh. Yeah, stickers. And, oh, a fortune teller fish. Remember? Miracle fortune teller fish. All right. Let's tell my fortune. Let's see what mood I'm in. All right. You put him in your palm and see what happens. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, is he flipping over? Turns over. False. Uh-oh. Apparently I'm false. I don't like that. I promise I won't be false. I'm like totally legit, like 100%. Yes. Well, I love it anyway, even though it's broken, clearly, because, you know, what else? I think I have one last big thing in the mailbox. And this actually, oh my gosh, okay, this is something that I ordered for myself. So it's kind of cheating, but it just came in the mail. So it's like a book reveal. This is a copy of Criswell Predicts. And if you are an Ed Wood fan, you kind of know who Criswell is. Greetings, my friend. We are all interested in the future, for that is where you and I are going to spend the rest of our lives. Anyway, so apparently he was a TV psychic in his actual career, and he wrote a bunch of books of predictions. So I found this one used online, and if I am correct, I think it's actually autographed, which I'm, oh, I'm super excited about. So this was a very exciting book mail for me personally. So squeeze. All right, uh, I think, oh, no way, I have one thing left, one thing left in my mailbag. This was a Christmas card that I sent out, and one of the things that it had in it um, was a coloring page with all the 24-7 Demon Mart characters, and someone sent it back to me with a note that said, yeesh, where's Dee Dee? So, sorry. Sorry, William, I um, didn't make you happy with putting all the characters in the character art. I promise I will work harder next time. I swear. I swear. Yeah. All right. All right, cool. So that's it for my mailbag for today. Please um, stop back again for another day in the life of a horror author. I may do something exciting like type or make notes on index cards <laughs> or, you know, do something crazy with my monster office back here. So thank you so much for spending time with me. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for reading. I'll see you again soon.